And it's good. Woo! <laughs> Woo! He's got a great food response. He's trying to eat me. This is a very gentle, delicate aloha today, Leia Moon. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We're, we're doing a video today. M me and my amazing co-host, Tiny T. <laughs> and we're going to show you some blood pythons today. We had a blood python clutch that hashed out. If you missed this video right here, we were showing them off as they were being hatched and they're ready now to go to homes. So, yes? Ooh, can we see the eggy yasho? Um, we can see some eggs too. We actually have a new clutch. That's Princess. She's sitting on a nice pile of eggs there. She's got nine eggs. We have had zero slugs this season. This is clutch number five for the season. We've had zero slugs so far. Gonna be looking at some clown pieds, some enchi clown pieds. Whoa, a bunch of eggies. Now, one single slug. Princess is beautiful. <laughs> Before we get into the meat video, I just want to remind everybody a few things. Uh, don't forget to support US Arc, US Arc Florida. Remember to keep praying for Brian Barcheck. Uh, three is Redline Shipping. Don't forget to check out our sponsors. We're going to be shipping these animals to you using Redline Shipping. And don't forget to use coupon code ROBIN60 for your first couple of orders through Redline Shipping to get 60% off of the retail price. Also, Morph Market, of course, is where we're going to be having all these animals available for you to check out. And actually, if you're watching this video, then you're going to get at least 10% off of the animal that you might want to get. If you're on Patreon, you're getting 25% off. That's awesome. Don't forget Freedom Breeder. Best racks in the business. Yeah. Yeah! Wow. Can some we see Violet? Vi Violet's sitting on eggs right now, too. <gasps> I want to eat her eggs. <laughs> Does she have a slug? No slugs. <laughs> Whoa. All right, I'm going to put it back now. Okay. Ooh, baby sneaky. Uh, let's get, woo! <laughs> Careful. <laughs> this guy's ready to bite and strike. That was wild. You see that? This guy is feisty, feisty, feisty. Did you see that, T? That was wild. I think we should name it Feisty. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> yep, we should definitely name it Feisty. This guy is ready for action. He did just eat last, last <laughs> night, so he's probably feeling a little bit defensive. This guy is huge. This, for whatever reason, this guy has grown huge already. This is a blood python. This is one of the guys that will be available. So if you're ready for a snake that's... uh. <laughs> Hey, T. Can we name it Feisty? He's he's okay. He's just uh, he's he's feeling himself. That's for sure. What's up, Buster? Come on now, let's chill out. There you go. Is it there you named go. Buster? No, I just called him Buster. So, this is a. Stick your tongue up, but I'm pretty sure he's a Matrix. But I just want to make sure. A couple chin rubs, get him, you know, feeling a little more confident. But this is his first time under bright lights like this, at least in a while. So. That's why he's feeling like that. You're okay, T. He can't reach you. This guy is an absolutely gorgeous animal, though. I, th I can tell you that. He's, he's looking at you, T. He's looking at you moving. He sees you creeping. But I'll know he's truly calm when he starts flicking that tongue back out there. Go ahead, bud. Flick that tongue out. Everything's all right. Woo! <laughs> I got him, T. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, stick that tongue out one more time, bud. I want to name him Feisty. <laughs> Hilo, don't get too close or she bite you. Well, whoever wants a handful, this is your snake. All right, I'm, I'm going to put him back now. <laughs> he's too feisty for me. Ah! There we go. There we go. Now he's chilling. See, see how that tongue's... Okay, I was hoping we'd get to this point. Now his tongue is flicking out. He's feeling a little more like, okay, I'm not going to get hurt here. He's just a little more moving into curious mode. Versus I'm going to flail about and try and kill everything in my path mode. So, there he goes. Now he's curious. 
Now he's curious. This is definitely a matrix. 100% male matrix. Beautiful. And like, just takes a little bit of work. This guy's, you know, he hasn't really been handled all that much. But look at him now. He's just a little bit, you know, he's, he's scared, T. We're, we're big. We're big. He's small. Ah! <laughs> lay it, lay it. It's fine. Look, look. It's fine. Didn't even hurt, okay? So he'll take a little bit of work, you know, but once once they get out of this little defensive stage, they become great and awesome. Hilo, why'd you bump the table, you dongus? Here. <laughs> I just wanted to bring him out. I was going to put him away. And this is, you can see, this is why he's bigger than the rest of the snakes you're going to see. He's got a great food response. He's trying to eat me. This is kind of unusual for a baby blood python. I've never actually taken a feeding response bite from a baby blood python before. They usually, it's just a defensive bite, but they don't actually try and eat my hand. Like, I don't smell like rats at all right now. And he's still just trying to go for it on my knuckle. All right, bud. You're going to have to let go of me now because I'm going to, I'm going to give your tail a little like, I'm trying to eat your tail now. So you got to let go of me because I'm not the food. All right, I'm going to eat your tail. Here we go. See that? And he lets right go. We should definitely name him Feisty. All right. This snake is not nearly as food crazy, which is probably why he's not as huge. And he's, uh, he's definitely on the more mellow side, but also de oh, I got a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of action left over there from the last snake. Nothing bad. There's just a little, little couple little blood dots, and then they'll be gone. I'll forget about it in the next five minutes, probably. But this guy is definitely a looker. Got that nice, full, almost completely full stripe going down from head to tail. Almost completely unbroken. Just a couple of breaks at the neck, but the rest of it just one big, long, full stripe. Just a good-looking dude. Normal python bronger's my red blood python. And this dude's going to be a looker, man. Look at that stripe. Okay, so this is male number two. Uh, not quite as food aggressive as the other snake. Um, still a baby, so all, all baby blood pythons are gonna be a bit defensive. So it's just something you gotta work with them on and, and get them confident. And like Noah's raised up his 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 boy now. So I, I mean, he's, so he's just a baby. He feels me doing those little movements. And blood pythons are super aware of their surroundings. So any little tiny movement, they're gonna be like, whoa, what's that, what's that? And freak out, because they're scared. They're scared, but if you can get get their confidence built, take some time to handle them like this and just kind of give them some little chin pets, you'll get them through that stage and you'll have a beautiful pet that is easy to handle, that never strikes at all. It's just when they're in this young mode, it's when they're defensive. So it's just something you gotta work through and build a trust and build some rapport with your animal. And they'll be just like Sangria, the mother of these snakes, who's just a beautiful, gentle giant. Now this here is a beautiful Matrix female. I know it looks like she's real little dark and there is some, uh, I got some of the cocoa blocks really wet for these guys, so they do have a little bit of that uh, staining from the cocoa that leached out of the cocoa. So, um, as you can see, this girl's definitely, compared to the other two boys, they're a bit more mellow, not quite as defensive, even right off the bat. Um, so she's going to be a super chill snake. I mean, the, again, they're all going to be super chill if you work with them, but this girl seems to have a natural disposition just to be kind of mellow and chill. But this is female number one, and... Uh, Awesome. Matrix. Morph Market. Check her out. Another beautiful female here. Another Matrix. And this girl's a lot smaller, but she's eaten like a champion. She's just, uh, she was the runty one in the clutch, so she came out a little small. But she's doing great feeding, and she's going to just take off no problem. Uh, another beautiful snake. Another gorgeous blood python that is chilling. Straight chilling. Huh. Awesome. Yeah. But... Why aren't we seeing my little chocolate? <laughs> All right, T. Chocolate. All right, T, here's your little chocolatey. Is he my little chocolatey again? Yeah. Is he feisty? Hilo, you're moving my camera, dude. Whoa. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> That's a stiff snake. <laughs> uh, what's up, Chocolate? <laughs> Chocolate's acting like a baby blood python. Come on, Chocolate. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out, bro. Chill out, yo. She's fucking it Come on, girl. You're okay. Just relax. Everything's good. Look it. Look. Okay. 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 Yep. All right. Your little bit of chocolate. You guys want to go check in on baby brothers? 
All right, let's go. Mommies, the people need an update on my baby products. He was a sleepy guy. Thank you for tuning in to the video today. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you on the next one. Aloha.